Hey guys, Melinda here. I uh, got two boxes in. I got the Walmart Beauty Box as well as the BoxyCharm. Um, I have another Walmart Beauty Box. They had a um, pure and organic one and as well as a regular one. The other one hasn't come. But I'm going to go ahead and record these and then as I did with the Ipsy, I'll go ahead and piece them all together. Um, this one is from BoxyCharm and the called boho glow this month um, and I'm gonna go over everything and I'll tell you the prices of everything as I go uh, the first thing we have in here is some beauty blenders which I love beauty blenders uh, these ones are new and kind of a little different I think they look kind of cool um, let me get some scissors here and so I can show you guys because you can't really see it in the bag these are by pure p-u-r with a weird dots over the U. Um, but these ones are a little different because they have a flat side on them as well as the curved side so they can get right up there when you're doing concealer. Comes in three colors. I'll probably give one to my daughter because, you know, I do that. Um, this one, I did open it just so that I could take a look at it, um, but it is the Concealer Collection. It is 16 colors of Pro Concealer Palette um, by Measurable Difference. Oh, the, let's see, from the Blend Squad 3-piece uh, sponges are $36, so that pays for my box because the box is $20. Um, this is a con concealer palette by Measurable Differences. It is $19.99. Uh, and it has enough colors in there for anybody and everybody. Um, I will probably be sticking to these shades for concealing under eyes and so forth. Probably use this pecan to get rid of the dark circles. Um, and use some of the darker colors to bronze up my face or contour with. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I uh, haven't tested out the consistency of them. Um, but they... They are a cream, uh, cream contour, so I'll have to work with those. I'm not used to cream contours very much. Um, the next thing in here is the Hergert Smoothing Yogurt Shampoo. I tried the conditioner of this. We got the conditioner in the box before. I love the smell of this, um, so I definitely will take advantage of using this. And it is ten dollars, um, and it is uh, got prebiotics, quinoa. Super Botanicals for Beautiful Hair. It's sulfate and paraben free. So definitely like that. I uh, got a lip lip gloss. Um, let's see. What is, I don't know if it says the color. Uh, it, it retails for $16 from Cargo Cosmetics. Um, I haven't undone this yet. Let me see if I can get into it. And It was childproof, these things. Uh, but it looks like it's kind of a cool color, so I'm pretty excited for this. I'm, I've kind of gotten into lip glosses again, um, if they're not too sticky. I, I don't, I'm not a real big fan of sticky um, ones, but okay. Maybe if I just unscrew it, I can take it off better. Maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a nice nude. Um, you can't really see it. It's a light nude, but it'll look good over some, um, nude lipstick. Definitely. It's got a doe foot applicator on it. I'm always a fan of those. I'll have to get that off there because I can't stand the plastic on there. <clears throat> but yeah, so, um, this one retails for $16. From Cargo. I've heard of Cargo before. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Kohl's carries Cargo Cosmetics. So, uh, definitely like that the color is pretty sheer. And then last but not least, my favorite thing that's in here. Um, mine's a little dusty, but I'm not too pissed off about it. So, uh, And that is from Ofra Cosmetics. It is called Rodeo Drive Highlighter, and it's $35. And it's got a nice nice gold highlight you can't see it really well because my lighting is crappy in here but whatever um, so yeah that is what is in the boxy charm this month I'll be testing these out and I will let you know what I think um, of them in another video maybe 
So that is box one. Um, the next box, like I said, is from Target. And um, this is the Pure Natural, I think is what it's called. It has a card in here. Um, pure and Simple. Good, clean, fun. That's what you'll find inside this box. We've got a few of our new all-natural obsessions for, with better-for-you ingredients so you can feel good about it. Try them out, and if you love them as much as we do, find the full-size versions at Target.com slash Beauty Box. Um, it was really hard to get into this Beauty Box Um they don't, they used to have a wait list and then they got rid of the wait list. So it was just, if you found it, you found it. If you didn't, you didn't. And I just happened to check for it this month and I found it. So uh, let's see what's inside here. Lots of goodies. Woohoo! Uh, the first thing here is Shea Moisture um, Kukui Nut and Grapeseed Oil Youth Infusing Cream Cleanser with Olive Leaf Extract and Avocado Oil. And then a cookie nut and grape seed oil youth infusing face and neck cream with mineral light reflectors. Uh, so I'll definitely be trying those out. Uh, we have some Juice Organics Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, fortified with passion fruit and barley protein for fine lifeless hair. So it's a volumizing. Um, it is formulated without parabens, silicones, Phylates, sulfates, propylene glycol, artificial colors, and synthetic fragrances. Uh, I'm all about that. Anything you can do to do good things to your hair without extra stuff in it is good for me. Um, from a cure um, for your skin, for the planet, a pore clarifying facial scrub with Moroccan red clay and argon extract. Uh, I love both of those things. I put some of that stuff in my soaps, so definitely like that. Um, a face mask, yes to tomatoes, clear skin, acne with uh, salicylic acid, de detoxifying charcoal mud mask. Um, I'm always down for a mask. Usually my mask days are Fridays, so I may try this tonight because it's Friday. And after the week I've had, I need it. <laughs> Whoops. I'll have to pick that up in a second. Uh, raw sugar body wash. This is the lemon sugar one, and it's in a nice travel size. Uh, it is from Cold Press Technology, I think. Um, it is certified organic, cold press extract, no sulfates, phylates, dyes, or parabens in it. Um, let me open it and smell it. Oh, it smells nice and fresh, so definitely am down for a good scrub once in a while. Um, got some Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Tellets with White Tea Extract. I get the uh, Burt's Bees face wipes, the grapefruit ones. Um, these are, I believe, for normal to oily skin. I get, I have combo skin, so um, I usually get those. But I'm more than happy to try these out, and these will be great for when I go on a trip or something. I'll, I'll probably save those for when I go on a trip. Uh, and then last but not least in here is Naturally Friendly Hello Pure Mint Extra Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. Uh, there's no peroxide, artificial sweeteners, preservatives. Uh, it says no peroxide, no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives, no brainer. I like that. And it says brush happy on the side there. You can't see it because of the the metallic. But um, yeah, it's just like a little uh, trial size of some toothpaste. So I definitely will use that as well. I'm pretty excited about this. This is my first time trying the Beauty Box. I think it was... Um, seven dollars or something like that um and definitely got more than seven dollars worth of stuff including some travel sizes of things uh with me going out of town in a couple of weeks it's definitely going to come in handy um the mask thing is definitely something i will use and uh yeah i'm pretty happy with this so between the two boxes i think this one is seven or ten dollars for the target box uh, and i got both the regular and the organic one um, to try out uh, those were seven I think seven or ten dollars a piece and it comes in a nice little cardboard box that says beauty on the top um, the uh, boxy charm is 1999 plus shipping um, but you can if you rate the products you can accumulate points so that you get a discount off of the shipping your shipping's free um, and I mean let's see 26 46. 96, 102, 
137 approximately $137 worth of products in the BoxyCharm, which is way more than what you pay for it. I'm definitely excited about these. I don't think I've had a bad bad thing yet this month from any of the things that I have. Ipsy was kind of, uh, and a little bit, bit of spaces, but there was some cool stuff in there as well. So I'm definitely excited this month, and I can't wait to see the other Target Beauty Box and get this guys up for you guys so you guys can see uh, what they are all about. I like getting the subscription services every month. I think it's a nice little treat. Um, you get to have a little bit of sampling of different things that you might have wanted to try, but you didn't want to spend money on a full-size item. Um, you know, whereas, you know, when you order BoxyCharm, all of the items are full full size always. Uh, so that's always good. For 20 bucks, you get 130, you know, 100 and whatever dollars worth of stuff every month, and they're all full size. So, um, yeah, definitely check them out. I'll put links down below. Um, the only ones, I, I get points for Ipsy if you join Ipsy um, via my link, and I get points via BoxyCharm. I don't get any cash or anything like that, but if you want to check it out, I'll put the links below. Have a good day. Hey everybody, Melinda here with the last of the beauty boxes for this month that I got. I got the regular Target beauty box. This is different from the organic one that I showed in an earlier video uh, that I'll be piecing together. Do not mind my nails. They look really bad. I took my acrylic nails off and had painted these and the paint's chipped off, so don't judge me. Also, don't judge this little mess over here if you can see it. I'm not sure if you can. Um, I have been going to oncology appointments and working and trying to keep myself together. My desk is a little messy. I'm all right with it. Uh, this is Hello Peace of Mind, and we're all about a little R&R. &R. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our latest obsessions inspired by moments of zen. Try them out, and if you love them as much as we do, find the full-size version at Target.com slash beauty box. Um, I probably won't be getting the Target beauty boxes again next month, uh, just because with Austin's um, co-payments for the oncologist and so forth, it's going to be expensive. So I'll be cutting back. I will only be getting the Ipsy bag and the Boxy Charm, and that's going to be it. Uh, unless, uh, oh, in the Walmart box, but that's only four times a year. So, um, unless I miraculously pull some money out somewhere that I don't know, um, probably not. Uh, it comes in a nice little tissue. Uh, this, the first thing I see, I absolutely love this brand. Uh, I love the foaming bath with pure Epsom salts in it. However, this one is lavender scented and I cannot have any lavender. Uh, so this will be going to my daughter. But excellent, excellent brand. If you want to try a good one, the vanilla, oat, I think it's called vanilla oatmeal is my favorite one from them. Um, but definitely a good product. So I will be passing that along to her. Uh, next is a deep, re repairing deep conditioner from Hask. Uh, it's the Argon Oil from Morocco. I love this stuff. I love the brand. I haven't tried the Repairing Deep Conditioning uh, Cream, but I have tried other stuff from them, and I absolutely love the brand. So I'm sure I'm going to love this, but I will let you know what I think uh, in an empties video from that. Um, some Double Duty Base and Top Coat uh, for Strong, Shiny, Chip Resistant Nails. This is going to come in handy considering I took my nails off. Um, so as soon as they grow up from where the artificial nails were at, I can uh, start using this more and more and get my nails strong again. Uh, from a company called EB5, pharmacist created, dermatologist approved, EB5 skin care that works, exfoliating AHA cleansing lotion. It is soap-free facial cleanser. Uh, I will try it maybe. I'm going to have to look under magnifying glass at the ingredients. Um, I tend to use only um, activated charcoal and I use my soap that I make uh, because I don't like some of the stuff that's in some of these face products, but we'll see. Um, then one from La Roche Posay, uh, French Laboratory Dermatology for a normal to oily skin purifying foam cleanser. Again, I'll look at the ingredients on the back a little more closely. Uh, might try it or give it to my daughter to try out. We'll see. Um, and then I got Dry Balance, help you free, feel dry and fresh, SPF 30 sunscreen lotion. Uh, I like Banana Boat, so I will try it out. And then last but not least, we got a Rimmel London um, Color Precise Eyeliner in white. Uh, this is really good for the inner rim, or if you want to do above the eyelashes and have a white line there, um, you can use it for that. Uh, and it is a felt tip, so this is a liquid applicator. So I'm definitely excited about that. 
Uh, so this concludes the last of the boxes that I got. So I'll be piecing this all together and putting it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, push your little bell, ring it, whatever. Um, I do soaping videos, makeup videos, any kind of thing I want videos. Um, I do book stuff. So I uh, hope to see you guys around. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about anything that I got, uh, make sure to put something in the comments for me. Um, I will put a link down to um, BoxyCharm. I don't get any money for you signing up under my link. All I get is some points to get free shipping eventually uh, after you've accumulated enough points. And Ipsy Bag is the same thing. I get some points where I can get some free items or whatever um, down the road. It takes a lot of points to do it, but... Uh, if you want to click on either one of those links and try them out, um, I will put the links in the description for you. If not, go to ipsy.com, boxyjarton.com, or you can check out the Target Beauty Boxes at target.com slash beauty box. Uh, once they're gone, they take it off the site. So if you don't see it there, it's because they've taken it off the site for the month. So until next time, guys, have a good day. Got the spring Walmart Beauty Box. They did a little different this time. It's not all one piece. It's actually a lidded box. Ooh. Embrace your beauty. Spread the word. Rate and review this season. Oh, now you get to rate them. Hmm. Okay. Got some pretty paper on the top. Probably save that for some scrapbooking or something. Let's see what we got in here. Coconut Oil Facial Moisturizer. This is from Palmer's. Uh, Burt's Bees Skin Nourishment Night Cream with Royal Jelly for Normal to Combo Skin with a coupon included. Nice, nice. Try those out. Uh, another Palmer's Coconut Oil Luminous Hydration Facial Oil. It's going to be that time of year where we're going to have to start doing some face stuff. Um, Optic White Beauty from Colgate, uh, a anti-cavity fluoride enamel safe toothpaste. Um, a Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair Ultimate Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, never heard of this brand, but uh, I will definitely give it a shot and see what I think. A Jurgens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. We got one similar to this for the winter, but I don't think it was the Glow uh, one. I gave the other one to my husband to try out um, after I tried it, so we will see. And boy, we got a lot of stuff in here this time. A Positively Radiant Aveeno Active Naturals 60 Shower, uh, 60 Second In Shower Facial. And overnight hydrating facial uh, so I'll have to look at those and check them out pretty excited about those I have the positively radiant night cream um, and I really really like it so I think I'll like these the smell of the other one was awesome I actually got a sample of it in the winter box I believe it was uh, of the oh this is absolutely absolutely ageless so this is a little different same company same concept though so I'm excited for that. And last but not least, we got a Soway, I guess is how you say it, Soway Collagen Mask uh, with Vitamin Enhancement. Um, formulated with special blend of vitamins, provide an instant boost of skin brightening it, its overall tone while supplying it with a plethora of nutrients. So I'm pretty excited. I love masks, so I'll definitely be using that. And then just a, a card on uh, the Be Radiant Optic White Toothpaste that was in the box. Um, so pretty impressed. Uh, for those of you who have never watched the, a video with Walmart in it before, I've done a couple of other ones. Uh, this is a $5 subscription. Comes out four times a year. Uh, this is the spring box. So definitely worth $5 to get a full facial mask, which most of these are run at least $3.95 to $4. Um, a sample of the Aveeno Positively Radiant stuff. I don't know how much that's worth, but uh, I do know that, you know, it's worth 
you know, getting it in a box. Uh, the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. This does probably at least a dollar to two dollars, maybe even three dollars for the size sample. This is a two ounce sample. Um, a travel size shampoo and conditioner, at least a dollar a piece. So, you know, you're getting at least your five dollars worth. Uh, then the Illuminous Hydrating Facial Oil from Palmers. I'll definitely be checking that out for sure because I love that kind of stuff. Um, the, the travel size toothpaste, that's probably a buck fifty or whatever. So you're definitely getting more than the five dollars uh, that you would get, you know, for the box. Or that you're paying for the box, I should say. And then a sample of the facial moisturizer, the coconut oil facial moisturizer, as well as a night cream. Um, I love Burt's Bees products, so definitely am down for that. I use their um, their face wipes all the time. Um, I have been a fan of Burt's Bees since it came out. So, um, yeah, definitely happy with this box. I think it's well worth the $5 that I pay for it. Uh, and it's definitely upgrading it. Uh, there's more items in here, I think, this month or this this season. And the box is not a corrugated box. It is a full-fledged lidded box. Uh, so I might actually save this box um, just to, you know, use for another purpose or whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. When I get the um, Ipsy bag and the uh, Boxy Charm in, I will be doing um, a videos that will go with this, as well as I got in on the Target. Uh, and the Target box, beauty box and the organic beauty box this month. Uh, I just happened to check and it was there and bing, I got it. So I'm pretty excited about those ones as well because I've never done those ones before. So um, yeah, $5. Get all the contents that I showed you in the video and uh, definitely seems to be worth it. So I will continue doing this. Uh, if I start noticing that a, a box subscription I'm getting isn't worth it, I'm going to stop it and try a different one. So, we will see. Uh, Ipsy has been kind of eh, on the fence, so I will see what I think of that uh, this month. And, um, yeah, don't mind my ugly nail. I peeled the paint off. Anyway, um, so as soon as I get the other stuff in, I will do the rest of the video, and I will piece it all together for you guys and get it up. Have a good day. Hey, guys. I thought I had done this video, but evidently... My phone ate it, so I'm doing it again. Uh, this is the Ipsy bag, and uh, I'm going to take everything out of here so I can turn my bag over because my address is on here. Um, this month's theme is Sideshow. Got a cute little bag. Uh, step right up, step right up. Now is the time to be bold and shatter the mold. Forget what you know about the status quo. This is your ticket to the Ipsy Sideshow. And then it's got some social media things on there. The bag this month looks like a ticket. So, um, I've already looked at this stuff because obviously I thought I had recorded it and I didn't. Um, so I'm going to take everything out. And we're going to go over everything in here. So, um, the first thing we have here is the EM Cosmetic uh, Illustrative Liner Brush Tip. And I believe this is in black. Um, yeah, it's in black. It's a nice shade. Uh, and you can, of course, make it a wider line depending on what you're looking for. Uh, I love these kinds, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, the next is the... Elizabeth Matte Show Me Your Glow Shimmer Shadow and Highlighter. Not a fan of these little tiny things, um, but I can pop it out and put it into a Z palette, so I'm not too awfully upset. Very soft, very creamy. I don't know if you can see it or not because I'm pale, but it's got a nice, nice highlight. I probably would use that more as a highlighter than an eyeshadow, but you never know. I might use it as um, some kind of a base eyeshadow or whatnot. Um, but it's the Show Me Your Glow. And then we have the Eau Thermale Avene Creme Nutritive something or other. Rich comp Compensating Cream. I'm assuming this is a French company because the language on it looks French. Um, and all the directions are bilingual. Um, it's in several languages, actually. 
Um, you can kind of tell on the side maybe. Uh, but it is some kind of rich compensating cream. I'm not sure what compensating cream means, um, but it's a little size. I don't know if this is like a, it's a dry sensitive skin. Um, but I'm not sure what compensating cream is supposed to be used for. Is it like a um, night cream, day cream? It smells good. Um, I'll probably take it on vacation with me when I go on vacation somewhere. Yeah. The next thing we have is um, Besame Mucho from Hey Honey. And this is a Shea Butter and Propolis Lip Balm for dry chapped lips. And I did try this out. Oh, I don't want to put it there. Trying to squeeze a little out. Uh, it goes on, it, it's kind of a um, a white color, but it does go down to a clear. Um, I tried it one day. Mm, it was all right. I've had better lip balms come from these things, but uh, not too upset with it. It's just okay. Um, and the last thing, I am so excited for this. Um, I was hoping I was going to get this in the bag. Uh, this is a Lisa Frank... A brush uh, and it says SOS XOXO Lisa Frank on it um, I grew up on Lisa Frank so having a Lisa Frank handled brush from glamour dolls is really cute it does feel very soft uh, the bristles move very fluidly so it's not overly stiff um, but I am glad to have this in my collection I might even use this for a contour um, a little bit of glue on the brushes but you know what do you expect they're mass made so um, but yeah so I wasn't too overly impressed this month but I wasn't upset with it either um, I, I know I've said it before but I think I'm gonna give it a couple more months uh, and see what I think of what I got uh, if I don't like it over the next couple months I may bag this and try another um, service um, you seem to get a lot of full full size um, lip liners and eyeliners, but when it comes to things like the eyeshadows or blushes or contour stuff, they're usually in these little, little tiny things. And to me, I just really don't think it's enough to be able to make a judgment call. I mean, this, yes, because it's an eyeshadow slash highlighter, so I could definitely make a judgment call on whether or not I would purchase a full size of this if it's available by itself um, or not but as far as like um, bronzers and um, contouring and stuff like that a little tiny thing like this does absolutely nothing um, and some of the eyeshadows that I've gotten like um, uh, there was a couple from the bomb uh, that were really super small and I was just like not really thrilled with because uh, it wasn't really even enough to make a decision sometimes I have to use them for a little bit you know but I'm also being picky because I get BoxyCharm, and BoxyCharm is all full-size products for 20 bucks a month. So um, I would like to see Ipsy do a couple more of full-size products, um, maybe like two full-size products and three sample sizes or something like that. Um, the bag is cute this month, so I will keep the bag. Um, some of my other bags that I've gotten um, when I do soap sales, I am actually going to use them to put the soaps in to put them um, for shipping. So, uh, they will be purposed for somebody, um, eventually, but yeah, so that is what I got. Um, and it's still really super, I don't know if you can see how shiny it is. It's almost got like a, a Vaseline type feel to it, which I'm not a fan of with lip glosses. Um, I'd rather have a chapstick if I'm going to have a chapstick or something like ColourPop's lip glosses or, um, Pure's lip glosses. Uh, I like the feeling of those a little bit better. They're not so greasy feeling. Um, but overall, I can't complain. It's $10 and I did get a brush, which is probably the amount of what it costs for the subscription for the month. Uh, don't mind the janky looking nails. I have not painted them. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this up uh, and then I have to call the oncologist for my son. Uh, so I'm going to get off of here. But um, I did get the other ones recorded and I will put that all together and you guys will get to see the finished product. So have a great day.